So in today's video, we are going to see a very, very excellent opportunity for all the engineering graduates out there. So there is a very big recruitment or an announcement from HPCL, that is the Government of India Enterprise. So there is a recruitment happening for graduate apprentice trainees. Uh, the payment that they are offering is very good. It is 25,000 plus and there is an opportunity uh, for a lot of branches. Mostly all engineering streams are eligible here and there is no fees for applying. Another very big in, uh, interesting thing is that there is no exam here. Directly you can give the interview if you are eligible. So we are going to see all the details about this recruitment update which is from the HPCL. So if you are interested, please watch the video till the end. We will be seeing all the uh, requirements and eligibility criteria and everything and i'll be also telling you which are the streams and the branches that are eligible and the selection process application process everything in detail and also the last date of play so please watch the video till then if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please consider subscribing okay so let's see the recruitment opportunity which is from hpcl that is the government of india enterprise that is coming under the ministry of petroleum and natural gas that is uh, again government of india organization so they are hiring for uh, graduate apprentice trainees as per the apprentice act 1961 there is uh, engineering candidates hired for the civil mechanical chemical electrical electronics uh, electrical and electronics electronics and communication uh, communication telecommunication instrumentation computer science it petroleum engineering all the streams in my opinion i think all the streams of um, uh, engineering are eligible here the last day to apply is 13th of january there is enough time to apply but please try to apply for it as soon as possible because they may close the link once the you know uh, amount of applications they are getting is more so here graduate uh, apprentice hiring civil mechanical electrical chemical electrical electronics electronics telecommunication instrumentation computer science it petroleum engineering age limit is minimum age 18 years maximum it is 25 years of age so it is uh, announced on 30th of december which is like two three days back uh, and it's going to be there for 13th of january till that so the requirement criteria the qualification criteria is you should be an engineering graduate with a 60 percentage of mark 60 percentage is minimum uh, for all the government uh, of India organizations or their branches. So it's a must. If you don't have a 60 percentage, you are you might be uh, in a trouble finding a government job opportunity. Uh, there can be exceptions, but most of them have a requirement of 60 percentage. That's the case for general and OBC category. Okay, But for SAC and persons with disabilities, 50 percentage and above is the only requirement. Now the salary or monthly stipend uh, is 25,000 for engineering graduates. Uh, 20,500 will be paid by H, uh, HPCL and 4,500 will be directly paid to apprentice by Government of India as per the DBT scheme. So, you might be knowing uh, about this. So, anyway, the net payment is 25,000 per month. It's a very good stipend in my opinion as uh, compared to what the other government organizations are paying for their apprentice. This is very good. Every year, uh, HPCL, all the petroleum uh, and related companies of government of india they conduct this hiring and they give very good stipend too okay so there is hiring happening for uh, the all, all locations of uh, hpcl mumbai location and vishakhapatnam location and the term of engagement is going to be one year eligibility criteria let's have a look only indian nationals can apply you should be registered to nats portal it's a very uh, famous platform for those who are looking for apprenticeships so if you are not familiar with it please uh, go to the nats portal uh, apply there you might find an opportunity very soon okay engineering graduates of the streams that we have already mentioned uh, are eligible who have completed engineering graduation after 2022 uh, onwards that is 2022 23 24 like that it's eligible Prior to 2022, if you have completed, means 2021, if it is your year of pass out, you are not eligible here. Candidates who are belonging to the general OBC category, you should be having 60 percentage, SCST category, 50 percentage is only required. And calculation of percentage is based on uh, like different universities has different calculation criteria for percentage. So you have to stick to the uh, university guidelines, convert that to percentage because most of them it is in CGPA. 
convert it to percentage and if it is matching or if it is coming uh, under the criteria then only you are eligible your college should be aict ugc or technical education board approved uh, age limit is 25 years is maximum minimum is 18 years age relaxation is there for scst category obc and ews uh, as per the apprentice act uh, and one very important thing if you have previously done apprenticeship if you have like two years plus uh, experience work experience you are not eligible to apply candidates who have got work experience not two years one year and above is not eligible here yes uh, the last date is 13th of january that's very important selection methodology is pretty simple only there will be an interview there is not going to be uh, i know test is <clears throat> most of mostly test is difficult to crack uh, but here the good thing is there's no test only uh, interviews there so candidate who fulfill the above uh, eligibility criteria will be called for the interview uh, as per the category wise and merit list will be uh, prepared based on that the management reserve the uh, right to restrict the number of candidates and the interview will be happening in january february month tentatively and they will be preparing a, a merit list based on that final offer of apprentice tra training will be based on the medical fitness as per the hpcl standards so that is the very important thing now in order to apply for this first go to this link uh, sign up for registration and select hpcl from the list once candidate they have given actually very detailed uh step by step procedure here once candidate have logged into the uh logged in candidate have to select hpcl gat engineering engagement 2020 under active advertisements and select the option whatever you are interested in applying for the drop down menu then fill only one application every candidate can fill only one application so that is the important thing you have to note down and also note your application number okay so you have to upload your passport size photograph and signature uh, as a part of the application so please be ready with those things they have given some important things here one uh, very important thing is that uh, here if you have any questions if you scroll down uh, you can see the helpline email id and the phone number it is very very important to note this down because most of the time when you are applying for uh, especially government uh, organizations you might uh, have a lot of questions to ask you might be stuck with something so if you are stuck any time this is the important uh, this is the most important uh, you know detail to note down because it's it will be definitely helpful for you so that's here there is uh, that there is no fees for applying there is no examination or anything so just apply try your luck if you are getting a call just attend the interview and then uh, you will be probably getting the apprenticeship and the stipend is also very good please note down that it's just going to be for one year and um, whether you are going to get an extension after the one year it's purely depending on the company's uh, rule and their policies and the and the projects that they have opened so uh, as per now they have only set for one year so if you are interested in one year apprenticeships then this is a great opportunity uh, the notification you can find in the description please go there uh, the link to apply is directly inside the notification itself step by step you can do that along with reading the notification you can uh, do the application as well so that's all thanks for watching keep on watching